So today is a cosmic. Cosmics have some beautiful uh, behavior because this is a hybrid vector. Uh, PBR322 PUC18 is a hybrid vector. Yes, I agree. But they are constructed some way. But this is the first hybrid vector to fuse the plasmids and cosite. Mm, the cosite from uh, virus, for example, a lambda phase virus, so on that cosite. Uh, hybrid with the our plasma. So the cosmics uh, possess some beautiful features. <coughs> it's obey plasma plasma characteristics and also virus characteristics. The end may obey for So very interesting uh, vector. And also the cosmics uh, generally widely used for construction of genomic library. Genomic library construction is different from um, CDNA library construction. Genomic library construction is primary method, CDNA construction is a secondary method. So this vector widely used for construction of genomic library Why? because it carries it carries uh, approximately 37 to 50 kpcs of DNA and also what type of DNA we can insert it into cosmics but in PBR and other primary vectors have some uh, sticky ends. So, if the sticky ends alone, uh, the vector can receive the foreign DNA. Otherwise, it's not a hybrid, it's not ligated. But this vector, uh, to receive any type of any sequence of DNA, uh, transfer from one host to another host. And also, uh, it carries a 37 to 50 ABC of DNA. Plus, one more point is that uh, when we are inserted in the foreign DNA into casmines, it's very easy to transfer to the host. But PBI322 PUC18 recombinant vector not easy to transfer. The transformation efficiency is low, but those vector. But here the transformation efficiency is very high compared to uh, that vector. So this additional uh, feature. So a lot of uh, interesting characteristics which have let's see one by one. So this is a constructed uh, cosmic vector name is plasmid JP8. Already you know P stands for what? JP stands for what? And A stands for what? Yes, I think you know. Once again, I am telling you, B for plasmids, JP for the corresponding author to discover, 8 is number of types modification. Uh, you try to see, uh, this is a, a four number of segments are there. One is original replication, yes, it's a basic characteristics. Second one is markers there, yes, okay. Third one is multiple cloning site. So, it's uh, obey the uh, plasmid with vector uh, principles. And one more part is the, the largest part of the cosmos is cos sequences. 
here in the sequence is very important. Uh, without this sequence, is usually a normal uh, vector. Yes. Yes. Cosmics are created by combining a part of lambda phase chromosome. Uh, we are studying in oncoming slides uh, with a part of plasmids. So plasmids are uh, origin of replication, marker, and restriction cells. With the addition of cosine, the cosine obtained from lambda phase chromosome. So finally, it's denoted as Cosmics, uh, the name is PJP8. So, the PJP8 is a basic cosmic. So, here nowadays, a lot, huge number of cosmics are available. This is a basic uh, cosmic vector because we are easy to understand. That's why I am uh, placed the, this vector to here with this class. Moreover, uh, origin of replication is the origin of replication uh, involves the replication of the corresponding cosmics and also the promoter region of the replication gene is very strong promoter. Uh, so, we effectively maintain the copy number in the transcript post. Okay. Second part is cos gene. So, we study in detail in the oncoming slides. And also, the cos gene contains some additional uh, sequence of DNA. That DNA to involve in the uh, protein code synthesis uh, and also the cos gene involved packaging of uh, lambda phase. Okay. Next point is. Uh, it contains an ampicillin resistant gene. So, here ampicillin resistant gene is a marker uh, because we are easily transferring to E. coli. We already uh, discussed so the gene produced, especially if the mRNA, the mRNA produced uh, beta lactamase enzyme. The name of the enzyme is beta lactamase. Beta lactamase uh, export from cytoplasm to the external medium and to hydrolyze the uh, ampicillin antibiotic by the hydrolysis of beta lactamase. So, again, the beta lactamase to clean the beta lactamase in the ampicillin antibiotic. So finally, uh, ampicillin antibiotics in IV. So it's never included the cell wall biosynthesis. So this is a continuously grow even the presence of antibiotic. Uh, so the host contains ampicillin resistant gene. Okay. Then the famous uh, restriction sites, it's essential for uh, carry the foreign DNA. Uh, exactly, uh, the routine um, restriction enzyme is a well known language one, eco one, this is a rare one, call one, and hind three. These restriction enzymes are uh, present in the cosmos. Okay. Here is important cosmids which can carry up to uh, 37 to 50 kbc of DNA. Here yeah, is very important. I think the cosmics are um, five times uh, greater than the PPI 322 um, based on the insert DNA carry. I am already told uh, it is a type of hybrid, first hybrid uh, vector which contains plasmid sequences plus cos sequences. Cos plus plasmid is equal to uh, cosmids. 
So don't remember. Don't confuse. Uh, if you are studying a number of vectors in future, finally you confused. So please keep remember cos x plus cos minus equal to cos minus. Actually, in the cos x have some special uh, uh, unique uh, properties in the lambda phase. So we study. And also, it's used to for build the genomic library. Why the people uh, construct the genomic library means? I think uh, you should know one thing. Our globe made up of uh, water and uh, soil. Yes. Nearly uh, one part of the uh, globe made up of land. Remaining three part of covered with the water. We, we can easily differentiate. In the land, we just screen and identify only five percentage of my land. Still there. remaining 90 percentage of the microbes are existing in the land. Compared to uh, ocean, how much number of microbes are exist? So it can have some beautiful characteristics. That characteristics you know, phenotypes used for us. Um, for example, maybe some bacteria or some microbes produce some antibiotics. So just imagine the remaining uh, number of microorganisms are exist in ocean. Suppose uh, uh, a kind of microorganism present in the submarine, maybe it produces some antibiotics. That antibiotics, antibiotics used to treat the coronavirus, still not identified. Maybe very uh, interesting microbes are present in the ear, hand, mandle, crest, even uh, outer core, uh, even moon, Mars. So it's very ocean. So that time we isolated new kind of microorganism. Uh, we just remove the or isolate the entire genome, genome and easily digested randomly. Uh, immediately transfer into the vector. That time we construct the genomic table. For what number of genes are present in the given microorganism? Or what functional genes are there? Uh, so we can easily identify uh, through by genomic library. So the cross mix is very effective uh, tool for genetic engineering. Right. Next one is uh, this first discovered by the Collins and Cons uh, in 1978. So hybrid vector to be produced. Okay. This very interesting uh, stories behind the discover. Just I uh, overview. Uh, in 1950s, uh, the Collins and Hogan's are joined together and make a plate uh, to cultivate the E. coli for mutation studies. So both are uh, plating, and the plates are allowed to. Allowed to UV radiation for just to create the mutation. The time uh, after exposure of a particular amount of UV in the petri dish, the cation E. coli, the group of colonists are suddenly died. So the two authors are get shocking. Oh, how oh, how it's possible? Uh, so yeah, both are trying to search how the colonists are. Did. So the time, finally he concluded some uh, the colonies containing bacteria eating cells are there. Oh, oh, finally, and the bacteria eating cells are called T4 bacteria. So that time, uh, isolate the specific. Uh, lambda-fetch DNA and finally modified 
so after uh, a year uh, 20 years after that he constructed uh, cosmos next one is so before studying the uh, cosmos we must know the lambda function because we obtain the cost side from lambda function you know lambda which is the base virus dna virus easily uh, transduction to uh, the genome into e coli uh, it's obey the lysogenic and lactic like cycle very interesting features are there but in the genome containing uh, actually uh, wild lambda phage containing linear gene this is a linear genome uh, the wider end of the only one side and three side of the one side containing a beautiful site uh, the name of the site is cos site generally the cos site is used, used to do uh, whether the page particle infect into e coli then after infection the injected linear genome converted into circularized so the linearized genome converted to circularized uh, by the uh, hybridization of this cos so this cos uh, hybrids uh, between them the linear form of genome into circularized form is a useful function of cos in the uh, host system of e coli and the lambda phage but that uh, beautiful characteristics we can identify used to work construction of gene like how means just to remove the uh, cos this is a genome uh, we inserted foreign dna to here r to here r to here so where, wherever it is the insert uh, for example this is a segment of gene involved in the head head gene means uh, capsid production head head capsid production involved genes this is a tail gene so tailing protein producing genes this is attenuation gene attenuation means uh, lambda phage uh, to obey the isogenic cycle so at the time the injected genome uh, recombinate into the host chromosome so at the time uh, this is a initiation point of recombination followed by the segment involved in the recombination so final finally the entire injected genome integrated into host chromosome that purpose uh, the attenuation site to involve here is a, a non coding sequences maybe we are inserted into our foreign dna used for genetic this is a dna segment of dna involved the dna replication after uh, manipulation uh, after producing progeny uh, so multiply for its own the purpose the dna replication segment involved the replication protein the last one is uh, segment is uh, lysis segment this part of the dna involved in the breakdown of e coli uh, breakdown of e coli finally in the newly formed progeny sir uh, get out then the newly progeny infected to another e coli so in the, in the cycle is going on based on the atomic bomb so likewise Uh, if you if you have some colonies e coli colonies in the play uh, the colony contains million of million number of cells e coli uh, so due due to this this type of uh, lysogenic cycle uh, infection the entire colony is uh, disappear so the same phenomena was observed colin and hoban in 1950s so finally 
find out the lambda field part. So only uh, in the cos side we, we used. We used only cos side for construction of genomic lambda. Uh, I am already told this point. Uh, so it carries uh, 37 to 50 kbc uh, Replicate autonomously because strong promoter there. Antibiotic resistant genes are there. So easy to select. Uh, even unable to grow in the presence of antibody. Uh, page capsids are uh, produced when it's transferred. The transduction uh, the phase is cosmic mm -hmm. obey the transduction principles and also effectively uh, recombination in the host chromosomes because these uh, this uh, function has specific genes located in the uh, human uh, lambda phage chromosome and also <coughs> The cos site produced uh, cogosive end, produced cogosive end. The cogosive end has to be both are same. Uh, this cogosive end favor for G. Why? Because <coughs> it's carrying, you see, carrying the uh, current end. Suppose uh, if, if it is produced with blend end, so additional some steps are we can do it. So, <coughs> Cosivin produced and also cos side that and so all the lambda genes have been deleted with the exception of cos sequence. This is very important. And in the lambda phage genome, we deleted some unwanted segment. Only in the cos side we can used for construction of genomic label. Cos <coughs> the cos site uh, contains uh, 200 bas per line. The cos gene contains three number of segments. One is cos n, another one is cos b, another one is cos e. The, the combination of three segments are called cos sign or cos sequence. The cos sequence are essential for packaging. Essential for packaging, especially the linear lambda DNA converted into circular DNA. The linear DNA existing lambda phase own uh, system. When it's injected or transduced into the E. coli, it can circulate. Now the question is arised, why, why the lambda phase genome after transduction it can circulate? What purpose it make circulation? It means uh, you know that already the basic immune mechanism present in the host system because if we are well known restriction enzymes some restriction enzymes are already, already exist in the, our host suppose the injected transducted uh, DNA exists in a linear form at the host so the restriction enzyme easily to recognize and uh, cleave the DNA so the lambda phage cannot produce the progeny cannot uh, live, cannot survive in the particular host. So, after injection of lambda DNA into the host, immediately it can be circulized with the help of cos -sign. So, after circulation, the restriction enzyme cannot bind to the, uh, the lambda phage, injected lambda phage DNA. So, it uh, avoid to uh, degradation. So, it can exist. So immediately it produces the specific uh, mRNA and proteins using the host missionaries finally convert into progeny uh, after packaging. So and using lysis 
uh, of the uh, host cell wall immediately uh, get out. So, so the cost is essential for package, packaging the uh, genome into the capsule. Okay. The, uh, for example, this considers a cost I, I think this is a uh, 3-n I think the large edition. Suppose uh, from here, from here to zero to uh, twelve number of bases. The twelve number, of, the twelve number of bases here: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So up to here, this segment considers here cos n squared. Cos The site hold terminus, uh, for example, I think this is a, a segment of terminus, means here, terminus, termination site. So, the, the cost site holds near the termination site. So, this region is called cost B. Cost Remaining sites are cos Q sites. Cos Q sites. So this cos Q site uh, used to per we cut the DNA at the cos Q site and once again we join together. I repeatedly do the step. Finally we construct the genome together. So this is the cast mean. This is a cast site, cast means ampersand resistant genes, ORI and polylinkers. First we cut this this place and convert to linear form. This. So here is cutting and the one dash segments. 3 dash or 5 dash n are here. 3 dash and 5 dash. So once we cut in the uh, cost cell with a specific restriction enzyme, uh, so we convert a linear form. Yes. Here, uh, we already available, uh, we prepared the gene of interest. This is very big uh, process. We are prepared. Like uh, an example, we prepared CDNA, it is complementary DNA. Uh, not complementary DNA used here, it is random DNA used here because we constructed genomic level. Okay. But another vector, the, the CDNA is a gene of interest. Okay. Uh, cut the cosmic vector in a polylinker uh, with the restriction enzymes, ligate cut the vector into DNA sequence. So after cutting, uh, we treated with the, uh, we treated with both same restriction enzyme. Here, both restriction enzymes here, and joined together. Finally, the inserted, the uh, isolated uh, gene linked together. This is a, a inserted sequence. Our uh, ampersand segment is present here, uh, origin of replication present here, uh, polylinker sequence are there, this is the polylinker sequence. So that place we cut the same enzyme with the D vector and uh, gene of interest. So finally ligated using DNA ligase enzyme. Okay. So after that, this is a very important process. It's called uh, packaging, packaging of particle. Sometimes in vitro packaging are employed. The similar procedure. Uh, then, so after that, the recombinant uh, cause cause meets are easily packed with the um, lambda phase DNA. How means? Suppose here is genome, entire genome is there. 
So plus the genome plus essential capsid protein, essential uh, enzymes, essential tails, uh, light uh, proteins. So all proteins will be uh, in vitro supplement to the mixture. Finally, the in vitro packaging is uh, taking place. So the genome is uh, inserted into the head, head part of the uh, lambda phage part. Once uh, construct the packaging, it's ready to infect another E. coli. So this is a recombinant cross means virion. Virion means uh, progeny. Progeny. Uh, so the virulent infected progeny. It's called virion. Okay. Then the virion uh, treated with the E. coli host. So immediately the virulent virion immediately inject the uh, cosmic genomic library into the host. Okay. So this is a vector. The vector may be obeyed in two ways. One is may be integrated in the attenuation site is the immediately integrated into genome. Integrated into genome. Otherwise Absence of attenuation site, it obey the uh, light site. So at that time, the DNA, the given cosmic library to maintain the copy number of uh, cosmics in the uh, host. Uh, so finally, we isolate the uh, clones or clone uh, cosmic library. Or sometimes to involve the fermentation. The uh, newly inserted DNA may be produce the protein and the protein are uh, produced after fermentation. We can isolate, uh, you know what are the steps you can uh, do it. That means the process called uh, product recovery. Yes. But immediately we, ca we cannot uh, enter into the fermentation. Um, so, first we uh, isolate the number of copies of cosmics, recombinant cosmics. So, finally, we study well. After that, you uh, subject to fermentation. Uh, so,